I'm Elizabeth Butler, and I'm an oil painter. You know, art was always a part of my life. I was just um, in a really creative family, so we were always making things, and all different kinds of things, and all different kinds of mediums. We were just really creating. There was a lot of us, and we were just making all the time. I never considered it as a career. Um, it was just something I always loved. It wasn't even so much that I had to do it as a career, but it was in college. I, I initially went to college to study bioethics and um, was having a really hard time. I was really unhappy. I couldn't really figure out why. And I just started spending a lot more time drawing. You know, so it's somehow I just started drawing and drawing and kept drawing and I felt okay. And I realized, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> This is what I'm supposed to be doing, and it was just a realization that I needed that to be a part of my life in a really major way, not in a minor pastime or a hobby kind of way, but in an everyday, all the time kind of way. It was a necessity. So I changed my major and changed schools and started studying art. I always was interested in oil, and initially I studied figurative and portrait painting. And then I taught art for a number of years, all different grade levels and all different mediums. And I loved teaching, but most of my time was really spent helping other people create their work. So I never really created my own body of work in, in a really full way, in a really expressive way, and got to know what my voice was. So that was a couple years ago. I quit teaching completely and just devoted all my time to the studio and started transitioning into these floral pieces. Um, but I've always loved oil, primarily. So that's always been my favorite, just the color and the richness that I can get. Really, it's just anything that's beautiful. You know, I really love um, beauty. I think it's very powerful. And so initially with the human form, I think that's why I was so captivated by the figure because it's so beautiful um, and very complex. And there's a lot of different relationships within the form and it's a very organic form. Um, so I knew I wanted to keep some of those elements there, but I didn't want to just focus on the figure. I really didn't want to do um, commissions of of other people. You know, I wanted a little more freedom and so I was trying to figure out how to maintain some of those figurative, organic, natural, beautiful elements. Um, and I found that there's a lot of crossover in florals um, or in botanicals. You know, it doesn't just have to be the flower, but just some of those organic elements and shapes that you find in nature. Um, and creating these bouquets, really, I get to put together these different shapes and forms that become almost portraits themselves, like this botanical sculpture, you know, that, that has a lot of um, complexity to it. And it's really challenging, more challenging than I thought. I really, when I landed on the figure, I thought that was gonna be the most challenging thing. And I do think in some ways it still is, but the complexity of the way color works with um, these natural and organic shapes, um, there's transparency in the petals. There's just like a fleeting beauty that I, I felt like there was a crossover there. And the fact that they're really powerful. You know, you can be very, very taken by um, the arrangement of something that's put together in such a way that it's a powerful experience. And so that's what I really wanted to express in making these florals that, you know, I, I hear often, which is, one of my favorite things people will tell me, you know, I don't really like floral paintings, but I love these. And that's a huge win for me because I'm not painting them because they're flowers. You know, I'm trying to put together a really complex um, story about the relationship between color and the experience of beauty. And so even though I'm a floral artist, I, I think it's so much more than that. I think the art making process there are two sides to it. I have to make, I make all this work and I make it alone. I like making it alone. <laughs> I like that time in the studio and I go through this whole journey where I'm, I'm creating and putting all of my heart and my life and my love into this one thing. And, and that process ends when the painting is completed, but there's a whole other 
completion that has to take place and that's the reception of the work. And so to be able to be present and watch other people receive what I spent all this time doing is really powerful and it, and it happens here in a way it doesn't happen anywhere else because the people who come here are really here to connect with what you've done and what you've made and that's um, very, very fulfilling and it's very rewarding and I think it's really important um, to the whole artistic process to have that reception um, every day, you know. People are here to look at what you're creating and come back and see what you're making and um, that I don't think you can, you know, get that anywhere else in, in the sort of attentive and dedicated way that many people are here.